Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 30. That is, what is performance testing? Let me answer. Performance testing in simple words is nothing but testing. Okay, in simple words, performance testing is nothing but testing speed and stability. Okay, there are two keywords you have to focus. Testing the speed and stability of the application of the application the application can be a web application application can be a desktop application application can be a mobile application whatever the application testing the speed and stability of the application under different okay under different user load conditions under different user load conditions okay here few terms i will highlight speed is one term stability is another term user load is another term you need to understand these three terms first guys okay to understand performance testing and to understand this particular statement you have to understand these three terms speed stability user load first i'll i'll tell you about the user load okay first i'll explain about the user load for example guys there is an application let's say there is an application okay let's say there is an application okay so this let's say this is an application okay this part is an application and uh, this can be a web application or desktop application or mobile application or any type of application and so on one day 50 people are using this accessing simultaneously okay 50 people at a time are accessing this application on one day next day what happened was next day the same application okay the same application on next day how many people are accessing let's say on monday 50 people were accessing on tuesday 100 people were accessing and let's say on wednesday the same application the same application let's say 500 people are accessing okay and on thursday let's say 1000 people are accessing okay 1000 people are accessing on thursday and let's say on friday let's say on friday let's say 10000 people are accessing 10000 people are accessing so here what is user load what is user load in this example 50 is nothing but the user load on monday what is the user load how many users are simultaneously accessing the application 50 so on tuesday 100 people are accessing the application at a time on wednesday 500 people at a time are accessing the application same application being accessed 500 500 people okay so on, a, on, a, on thursday 1000 people on friday 10000 people and so on like this okay so here different is different number of users are accessing the application at the same time this circled out numbers are nothing but the user loads case okay so you can take a real world example also let's say nearby there is a tea shop okay let's say nearby your locality there is a tea shop so on one day what you have done is uh, you just by yourself went to the tea shop and ordered a tea at that time no one was there near the shop and uh, let's say the, some person is there in the tea shop and he has served the tea for you okay very quickly he has once you asked very quickly has served the tea for you so next day what happened was you brought your friends okay you brought your friends you gave a party let's say okay some party and uh, like a small discussion you wanted to do at the tea and you brought other eight people or something now let's say you are you are uh, you are here and you asked for tea here for everyone so this time this person may not give you the tea instantly okay he'll prepare the tea for this many number of people one two three four five six seven eight nine it will take some time he'll ask you to wait and after a while he'll serve the tea and serving the tea also will take some time here okay so when you took your friends to this tea stall okay no one was there other than you and your friends okay that's fine this is also good no problem still acceptable but what happened one day was what happened one day was you went to this tea stall along with your friends as usual with nine people and all you went all with all your friends and all when you reach at this tea stall there are a lot of people okay at this single tea stall there are a lot of people guys okay waiting for the this person to serve the tea okay it got very good demand in your locality let's say, let's say this person got a very good demand with a very good name in this locality and a lot of people came to know that this particular person gives a very good tea serves very good tea so you are also liking so you went and uh, you suddenly have seen like uh, like 100 people are there but only one person is serving so can't you imagine at what time you will get the tea if you ask it will take a lot of time right so 
here also same thing guys in case of applications also same thing okay in case of applications also same thing so if 50 people are accessing the application at the same time this application has to serve the request right whatever these 50 people are asking application server of this particular application has to respond 50 times at the same time it has to respond here also same thing 100 people are asking for something it has to serve at the same time okay so so what happens if this particular application or application server doesn't have the capability to handle this many number of people okay so let's say this particular person may not have the capability to serve 100 people let's say okay you cannot serve 100 people you can serve uh, at a time you can serve only 5 or 10 people but suddenly 100 people came to your came to his tea stall he is very happy but still he is in a kind of position where he is stressed out and is unable to serve this 100 people okay because of which uh, he will lose some customers right the delay will be there right so in, they request something but uh, it will take a lot of time for delivering that particular tea or something so such kind of situation happens in the application also if lot of requests are coming to the server uh, server of this application and server is taking a lot of time to respond back that is a problem okay that is a problem right this should not happen what 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 this particular tea stall owner has to do once he get a good market or name in the locality he has to increase the resources right this person has to increase some resources right he has to recruit some more people and uh, make sure that uh, he can handle this many number of tea requests okay the number of people asking for the tea he has to handle by increasing the number of people who can prepare the tea simultaneously for this number of people and who can serve the tea so that the time for serving should get reduced okay so that's what is so here also same thing guys now first you understood what is user load okay what is user load you understood so at a time how many people are how many users are accessing the application is called as user load this part is done now what is speed you already got to know from this example right at what speed this particular owner of the tea stall is serving the tea for you that is nothing but speed here also in case of applications this people this particular users who are accessing the application simultaneously will place the request right they want something they want to search for something they want to access some page or whatever it is okay so when they ask when they ask for the things at what speed the response is coming okay at what speed the response to this people are coming is is coming that is what is the speed okay that is what is the speed and it depends on the server and configuration guys okay so server and configuration of this application depends because if uh, 50 people maybe the server that is be, being used by the application can handle that load and it, it can give 50 requests back responses back immediately without any delay but if 10000 people are coming may not be able to this application may not be able to handle this much of user load and it may uh, you know right the page the page you are trying to access will keep loading because the application server is not giving you the response immediately it's taking some time to process here okay the code need to be run in the server and accordingly the response has to be sent back the server doesn't have the capability to handle this many number of uh, requests from the user so speed may get impacted because of different user load conditions and next thing is stability guys sometimes what happens is the application itself will crash guys for example here 50 people okay 100 people okay 500 okay 1000 okay suddenly 10000 came suddenly application will not only slow down okay in this case application may not only slow down guys it will crash itself okay the application may crash guys okay so whether the application is able to with, withhold this part, this amount of traffic or not is nothing but stability is application stable enough okay is application stable enough for example guys let, let's take a funny example let's say you visited a bar okay with your friend okay so in bar what will happen you will order some drinks right so what is your stability if someone asks you okay so if if you have taken only less quantity of alcohol or something uh, when you are sitting in the bar that's okay you will be stable but there will be some limit for every person right so not every person is same some people are very sensitive to the alcohol even they take one or two glasses they are done okay where other person even after taking 10 they are very stable right so it depends on the person to person here also it depends on the application and application configuration how stable the application is okay despite of getting this much of user load whether that particular application is able to withhold or not is, is stable and is able to handle the situation or not is nothing but stability guys okay so so if the application is not stable what will happen first it will slow down okay the application will slow down no matter how many times you hit the url you will not be able to see the page that's one thing and even the user load increases behind that reach suddenly the application server will crash okay because it's not able to handle the load 
so here now coming back to the definition of the performance testing okay explanation of the performance testing what is performance testing in simple words performance testing is nothing but testing the speed and stability of the application under different user load conditions okay under different user load conditions you are testing the speed and stability of the application that's what is performance testing hope you understood what is performance testing now okay performance testing in simple words is nothing but testing the speed and stability of the application under different user load condition there are different types of performance testing guys okay there are different types of performance testing like load testing stress testing scalability testing volume testing endurance testing okay these are the different types of performance testing available there are different names for the volume testing volume testing can also be called as flood testing whereas endurance testing is also called as soak and capacity testing so these are the different types of performance testings so let me explain about these different types of performance testing at a high level coming to the load testing guys you are checking whether the application is able to handle the okay your uh, here as part of load testing you are testing the speed and stability of the application under acceptable load conditions that is uh, for example if uh, this application can handle 1000 users let's say if this application can handle 1000 users so we will we'll verify with less than or equal to 1000 okay not more than 1000 we will test the application with user load conditions different user load conditions varying less than or equal to 1000 not more than 1000 okay so checking whether the application is handling the expected load or not is called as load testing expected load whether the application is able to handle or not is load testing in simple words okay so here you are testing the user load okay for example if an application can handle 1000 users so we'll pass up to 1000 users only not more than 1000 users less than or up to 1000 users will pass and see whether the application is able to handle the load speed and stability of the application is maintained or not by the application we'll check that is what is load testing now coming to the stress testing guys okay stress testing means behind the load okay so what will happen guys if you work continuously in an office let's say uh, we generally go to our uh, it companies right so from morning to evening we work okay so what happens if you extend your work you will get stressed out right same thing here also if the user load becomes more okay if application can handle up to 1000 users simultaneously but uh, suddenly 2000 users came that is what is stress guys okay that's what is stress application can only handle 1000 but you are passing 2000 users you 2000 uh, users are accessing the application okay that is what is stress testing stress testing we will pass some unusual load okay we'll simulate unusual load and try to stress the application and see what how the application is behaving under stress okay how the application is behaving how the application is able to handle the speed and stability of the application under okay under stressful load stressful user load okay if you double the load what is happening just want to stress out the application and see how the application is behaving whether it is crashing or slowing down you will find it out okay that's what is stress testing now scalability testing means what it also come it's also a one of the type of the performance testing where okay what you will do is you will check the scalability of the application under different user load conditions for example application is able to handle let's say 1000 users simultaneously you will increase the load to 1100 and see whether the application is able to scale okay if required you will you will give uh, you will uh, you know right whether uh, you will also give some you know right uh, you will increase the server side all and see whether the application is scalable or not okay again uh, you will give 1200 1300 1400 1500 you keep on increasing the user load until you will you will go to a point where the application is crashing okay so with that guys you, you can understand that how the whether the application is able to scale or not okay accordingly the user load increases whether the application is able to handle the user load and by maintaining the speed and stability of the application or not you are checking as part of scalability testing okay whether the application is able to scale according to the different user load conditions is known as increased user load conditions is known as scalability testing in simple words now coming to the volume testing guys okay in volume testing okay it's not about the user load okay in in volume testing this is not about the user load it's about the data that the application is using for example guys uh, everyone uses uh, some operating system windows machine or some machine we use right even in our mobile phone also when you purchase a mobile phone the mobile phone will run very smooth guys in the initial days the mobile phone will run very smooth the moment you start taking the pictures you capture the videos and uh, you increase the data size in that mobile phone slowly it becomes slow okay day by day your mobile phone becomes slow until you clear that uh, images or photos or the videos you have captured in your mobile phone the mobile phone will not become speed 
right? The same thing here, guys. Here, here you will increase the data size in the application. Okay, you will pass more data to the application. Okay, and see whether the application is able to handle the speed and stability of the application. Okay, you will check the performance of the application, that is speed and stability of the application, by increase the volume of the data that the application is using. At this this much of data, how the application is behaving. At this much of data, how? Okay, that's what is called as volume testing. Another name for volume testing is flood testing. Then coming to the endurance testing, guys, is another type of uh, performance testing where how long the application can handle the load. Okay, how long the application can handle the it's uh, testing the performance only, testing the load only, but for how much duration? For example, a person is working in a company, guys. Okay, so he generally carry you know right uh, that uh, big sized uh, bags and all. Okay, let's say he will take it from the store and put into the truck. Let's say okay, person goes here and there and do. So maybe initially look very strong and uh, he he can take uh, very huge weights on his back and he can put that into the trucks. That's fine. So, but that is not endurance testing, guys. Okay, in performance, that is not endurance. So, after ten rounds, the person that who is carrying the load will slow down, right? Right. At continuously, if he is doing the same task, heavy loads he is carrying and putting from the store into the truck, it may it may last for only some time, guys. Okay, not more than thirty minutes, right? He cannot do that. After thirty minutes, he may fall down also, right? So. That particular person endurance is up to 30 minutes. If some other person is able to do that for one hour, that person endurance is up to one hour. So in performance testing also, when you are testing the performance of an application, okay, will continuously provide the load, okay, will continuously put the load on the application and see till what time the application is able to hold the load continuously, okay. So let's say let's another out of box example is television guys, okay. Uh, television is also another example where you know right if you watch the tv for one hour nothing will happen uh two hour okay maybe the tv that you are using based on the brand or something may get heated up right so for one hour it was working fine but uh, continuously if you are watching for eight hours or ten hours the tv may television that you are watching may get heated up you have to turn off the tv and give it some rest and again turn it on after some time right so here also guys application can hold the application can handle the load to some extent of time but uh, but if you give load for long period of time that may or may not handle to see to check whether to check whether the till what time the application is able to handle the load continuously is known as endurance testing okay so by increasing the duration of that user load continuously passing the user load to the application and uh, making it to handle the user load continuously for long time and checking whether the application is able to handle the user load and uh, is able to maintain the speed and stability of the application is known as endurance testing for other names for endurance testing or smoke testing and capacity testing okay so testing and capacity testing are the other names for the endurance testing so with this guys we are done with the performance testing hope you got an idea what exactly is performance testing and uh, what are the different types of performance testing available right so that's all for this session the next session i'm going to answer the next software testing interview question for you till then see you bye